it seems like he's trying to lure Charlo in, in a little bit. I think it's a ploy. Competition holds wins over the likes of Gabriel Rosado and Vadas over the likes of Gabriel Rosado and Vadas Morosian, who, of course, will battle Eric's Landy Lara on tonight's. Okay, so Charlo tried it with that second shoe last round. Who is also competing in his first chance at a championship. Lee, of course, went on to become a 160-pound titleist. There's another counter left hand underneath by Jackson. This time it was a little short left up or something. It's the second time. He's... He belongs in the ring with Jermel Charlo and then some. He's a very good young fighter. Hands free, hands free. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop, I get you. A lot of punches thrown. So, for the judges, they've got a minute left in this round. Jackson doing a good job. On that jab. He's coming up just short, but keep shooting it out. He'll lamp over the rest of his offense. Shot by Jackson. I wonder if you know, let's go to Jim Gray. John and Jackson, and Jackson told Mel Charlo, and he also told us that he's been working on his defense, including head movement, and we've seen that thus far. Well, and he's doing a good job of this tactical fight. Also, other than Jamal, Jamal's landed a couple of jabs in this round, but one thing I would help Jamal find his range, a good exchange, would be his time just short with it at times. Maybe Fane is way in for that first step. But he has shown a very good left hook as a traditional right. Sometimes look, he can make you reach and he can walk into a counter. So if you, if you go to the body, a lot of tests to that. When, when you're smooth, you don't like to be touching on the side. And anywhere, even even if it doesn't hurt, it's, just, it's, it's breaking up your rhythm. And that's what Jackson did a good job of. He's doing a good job of breaking up Jamal's rhythm. He lost the decision against Demetrius Andre. Thanks in Willie Nelson, Jubal Evan here on Showtime. 30 seconds left in the third. Charlo on the 